Hey friend, I am working on a DIY for a baby shower this weekend for my daughter. And I thought I'd just show you what I'm doing because I have lots of people who like want to know my DIYs and then by the time I get halfway through the project I forget to tell people. So um, my daughter had this giant thumbtack board that she um, had in an apartment she used to live in. Um, don't mind the noise in the background. I'm getting caught up on my YouTubers <laughs> while I do stuff. Um, and so she needed it back. She wanted to put it back in um, the nursery so she could hang pictures of the baby and stuff. And I found this really cute Muslim blanket at a rummage. I'm sure you guys have seen some of these. They're really big. They have big verses on them. And I thought, hmm. So I am going to try and put this on this thumbtack board. Now, it's pretty easy to do stuff like this with the thumbtack board. All you need, if you want it to be like a temporary fix, something that you might want to change in and out periodically, um, sometimes if it's a seasonal thing. But if you want it to be permanent, you can use some hot glue. But my weapon of choice for this DIY is a butter knife. So you're just going to go along, you're just going to push in this blanket along the edges of the frame of the thumbtack board. And my hope is that it would look really nice. Now this has Psalms 139 on it, but I found a section of the blanket that I feel like would just be centered on the board. So as I go along, I with this big um, blanket, I'm doing the top and the bottom first, and then I can tuck in the sides. You want to make sure your fabric is as straight as possible, and you want to make sure that you're doing this gently, but with some pressure, so gentle pressure. You don't want to put holes in the blanket. And I will come along with a pair of really sharp scissors and I will cut this off after I have it centered in the way that I like it. You can do this with all sorts of fabric. I really like doing this with um, blankets. You can buy thrift stores, yard sales, um, vintage quilts. You can do this with I think what I might do is try, yeah, I think that looks pretty good there. You just want to look at your letters and what I'm trying to do with this one is not get the, not to get the top letter under, but I might have to because this is kind of off-centered the way they have wrote. All right, last side. And the good thing about this is, I'm not showing my daughter I'm doing this, she wanted this on tack board back and I told her that I might add something to it that, that she can take off if she doesn't like it and that is the beauty of this. So there we go. You can tell as you push your fabric inside the corner here it flattens out. So that looks very nice. Now I need to cut all the edges. So you want some really nice sharp scissors for this job. I have these really cute ones. Um, and you don't want, to, when you cut your fabric, you don't want to pull on it too much because it'll come out. But you want to cut as close as you can to the edge of your thumbtack board. Um, and the hope would be that, and then any fabric that we have left, we're going to tuck back in.
some different yummy flavors. These are fresh from the garden. They have been washed, so I'm just going to de-stem them. The big ones are going to run a nice through. Okay, as you can see, we got one edge done. So I'm just going to come along with my butter knife and I'm just going to tuck this back in. And then. So this is kind of going to be a pink-ish sauce that we're making. For you don't want to use a sharp knife or a screwdriver with this. You want something that has gentle pressure. And then you just, you just want to tuck it all the way under so that it has a clean so that you have a finished edge. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the last three edges okay. and I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like when I'm done. Yeah, there's a sneak peek at another DIY I did. <laughs> this grandma's just so excited. I think this turned out quite lovely. And this was a very simple DIY. It took me 10 minutes and I got the blanket at a thrift store. Some thumbtack boards are very easy to DIY. You can paint them. I've seen those done and they are beautiful. Or you can just get a piece of fabric and tuck it in. And now you have a brand new decoration for a room. Sometimes refreshing something like this is a very, very easy way to add some more character or a new look to your room. show you my other DIY that I finished this week. It's a little kid's rocking chair. I have a cute little teddy bear I'm going to put there with a bow and a poem. Yeah, so traditions don't have to be very complicated. Um, the grandma season has just begun for me. And so one thing that I have done is I have been picking up these little rockers if I see them at yard sales or thrift stores. And I actually have a friend who's blessed me with a couple and I pick one special one to keep at my house. And I've kind of got them scattered throughout the house and one out in the shop that I use for photo shoots. But one of the traditions that I wanted to start with my grandbabies is at their baby shower, um, my children will each get a, a rocker to use in their home for all of their children. And so my daughter actually got a rocker on her first birthday and I just loved that idea of being able to start something simple and doesn't have to be expensive like i said i've been picking these up at thrift stores and yard sales and and just having something like that that your grandkids will look back on and your children will look forward to knowing those simple touches like that um, are tradition and this was a really easy diy all they did was paint it with some primer after I sanded it down and then roughed up the edges a little bit. I like using white. It's very neutral. It can go with any decoration of any bedroom. It could sit in the living room and still look very classic. I look forward to seeing the little girl that's going to sit in this rocker and call me grandma. <laughs> <laughs>